All right, Brandon, it's your second go around with Coach Wade. Just kind of what was your first impression when he got here at McNeese? Um, honestly, it's basically the same dude that I've been seeing for the past multiple years. So basically not nothing new or anything like that. It's just kind of like what I expected. Um, good seeing him happy again. Just happy. I'm just glad to see him happy coaching again. Like It's just good to see basically family just be out doing what they do best. For you, what has this offseason been like getting acclimated to a new program and a new team? Uh, it's not really a new program. It's just it's Coach Wade. So he's doing. He's been doing the same thing for years and years. So it's not really me being acclimated. It's me just basically reviewing. And a lot of even though I transferred a lot of times and everything like that, this was a system that I did well in, and I just accepted my role in and everything. So it's nothing really new. It's Has just that made the transition a little bit easier? Yeah, for sure. For sure, like he kind of like looks at me as one of the guys that's just supposed to know exactly what to do because I've been in it before. So, is that one of the reasons why you came here was kind of the comfort and wanted wanted to not have that big jump into a new program? Yes, sir. It's kind of difficult going into different programs, learning new systems and everything. So, just me coming back to me, me coming well not back to me, but me coming to Will Wade and just being familiar with the program is just like you want to have someone that you can have trust in your corner. So. Seeing the success this team had last year, does that kind of make you hungry to get back there and maybe surpass what they did last year? For sure. What they did was absolutely great last year, but that is last year. This is a new year, so it's trying to get better than what they was last year. You're a senior. I mean, uh, LSU, Georgetown, Ole Miss, now yes, McNeese. Sir. I mean, you've been around the block. Yes, sir. Uh, you're an older fella. Yeah. Um, your perspective on, on this roster from a talent perspective, how good is this team right now? How good can it be, uh, including yourself uh, in the mix? I think we can be really good, but we can also hold ourselves back. So we can be as good as we want to be. Um, I think this roster is very talented. I think we have the guys that can do. I think we have the guys that have, we have dogs on our team and everything, but also I feel like if we want to do what we need to do, like get to March Madness and get win a couple games and everything like that. We just all have to be on the same page. You're no stranger to playing tough opponents, obviously, yeah. but this season for McNeese, it's a step up in competition with the opponents you guys are playing, South Dakota State, Alabama, you name it. What does that do for you guys so you can kind of see where you're at? Um, well, we're going to know what type of team we are in the first five games because we have a very tough schedule. So, honestly... I think that is just, yeah, that's it basically. Like, it's just, it's a tough schedule. I think in the first couple of games, we're just going to really know who we are. Were you surprised when you got here how much talent was here? No. Coach, Coach Wade's a really good recruiter. So. <laughs> <laughs> What's your excitement level going into the season with a new team? And like you were saying, it's your last go around. So, going into your final season, what kind of. Your excitement levels at? I think this is the most excited I've been in a while, honestly. Um, being, seeing what they did last year and being able to be a part of something like that, like, I don't think nobody would want anything better, like, especially with the chip that we have on our back, especially because they had all the success, like, last year, like I said. Um, who wouldn't want to be a part of that? Like, this, like I said, this is my last year and everything, too, so. Just trying to make it the best. Your your stats uh, show you can you can score in double figures. Uh, you can you can get blocks and steals and assist all around player. A good percentage from the floor. What role uh, will this manifest itself with your talents on the floor this year? What what role do you think you can bring to this team? Well, I just want to be the hardest playing dude on the court at all times. Um, now I'm not really so much about a guy that just worries about the points per game or even like just little things like my stats and everything like that. I feel like once I be playing hard, that's the reason why I have those stats. Mm -hmm. so. Does it help that you've done so many different roles on different teams? Do you think you can fit into anything you need to do? For sure. For sure. I think this is experience, the experience that I have last in the game for a while now. I've been in college for a while now, so I've seen a lot of different systems. I've seen how coaches can be different and everything like that, and I also see how different styles of play. So. I feel like with me jumping around a lot of schools and everything like that, seeing different conferences, it's kind of like it has me, I'm more comfortable now. So, yeah. is, is there a comfort level between you and Coach because you've had the experience before? For sure. For sure. Coach Wade makes a lot of things easier.
Was he treating you nicer? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, he treats everybody the same. So it's, it's Coach Wade. That's all I can say. Yeah. For fans who don't know you, <clears throat> who tell them kind of who you are as a player on the court? Uh, high energy guy that loves the defensive end of the court. Um, definitely want to be the most communicating person on the court as well. Um, just get everybody in line. Just want to make sure we all are a unity. You said it right there. You love playing the defensive side of the ball. Mm -hmm. Christian was just in here. He was the defensive player of the year last year. Yeah. How good can your defense be with you added to the system? Oh, I think we can be really good on defense. Um, the way that I've, I don't know the exact st stats, so I won't say it, but I just know uh, they were a good defensive team last year, and I just hope to build on that. Do you have any personal goals going into the season? Anything personal is for the team. I just really want to get to March Madness. You mentioned you talk about Will Wade. Uh, you have a, a lot of respect, obviously, and reverence for him, uh, ability to recruit, and you mentioned his system. Uh, expound on that a little bit in regards to what make what makes his system special. What what separates Will Wade in your mind from maybe other coaches that you played for mm -hmm. and other coaches and other systems that you you've seen? I feel like Coach Wade is a truth teller, and I feel like with that, you can you can't ask him no more as a man, like. At all times, you want to be told the truth, and nobody wants to get sugar-coated anything like that. So I feel like that's where the respect comes from. Um, there's no lies in between. He's going to tell you the truth at all times. With his program, like, you just have to buy in. And if you really buy in, you get to really see, like, it doesn't even just help you grow as just a player. It helps you grow as a man just in general, just in life. You've seen him before um, under tough times, too, under a lot of pressure. Yeah. Do you see a comfort level with him here? A, a difference or, at all because he talks a lot about he, he kind of fits in here. Yeah, he does, but I feel like the whole state of Louisiana, like I feel like he just fits, that's just his aura. But with Coach Wade being here and everything like that, he, um, I feel like now though, he's even more hungry than he was before because him, of course, having his previous years at LSU and then him having his thing that he had here at last year, um, he just wants to get better every single year. Like. I know he wants to make the Sweet 16 again. I know he wants to get even further than that. So it just makes his chips on his shoulder even larger. Have you been told about the uh, the energy in this building? I mean, the conference tournament is here and everything is here. Have you seen any videos or been told about kind of the atmosphere in this state arena? I heard there's, it gets to a point where it's only standing room only. So I can't wait to see that. I heard it's like really energetic in here, but I can't wait to feel that. All right, man. Appreciate awesome. it. Yes, Thank you. Appreciate Good luck this year. Thank, Thank you, Brian.